Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. The Near Mint Nerd is here for the I Got Issues channel. And I'm back on this beautiful rainy Wednesday with uh, a great haul. Uh, I don't know if you remember last week, I was a little lethargic and not too excited about comics. Um, I think that was just a little blip because uh, I woke up out of bed today so thrilled to head down to the shop. I got some great books. I'm going to be posting a little later in the day, unfortunately, because um, I got to get this together and then I got to go do some other stuff and then I'm going to post it up tonight. But man, I'm really excited. So uh, I'm going to head down to my shop now. I'm going to grab a bunch of books. Uh, I'm expecting some variants to come in uh, from this week that I want to talk to you about and a couple of other interesting things. The new Superman, um, uh, the new Superman tie-in to you know, the goings-on with the button and stuff in the DC universe. If you're reading the Reborn stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, you might be a little in the dark, but it's going to be cool, and I'll explain it a little better as we look at the books. Uh, all right, I'm going to uh, go get those now. Um, you don't have to come along. That'll just take forever. Why would you want to do that? You stay in your home, be comfy, be cozy. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to do all the work, and then... When I get back, I'm going to set up and we're going to get going on this awesome Wednesday haul and I'm going to see you on the other side. All right, we're going to kick off the haul this week with Marvel books. And the first one up here is Dead No More, The Clone Conspiracy Omega, number one. Um... And this is a variant edition cover, but I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's just an alternate cover. They seem to have around the same amount at the store to me. Um, I just like this one a little bit better. I really like the Clone Conspiracy. I thought it ended pretty suddenly. I thought the last issue of Amazing Spider-Man covered up some of the ground that I thought was missing. I'm not sure what this book even is for, quite frankly. Um, it seems like the story is over. Uh, but they're going to try and squeeze at least one more issue out here. So I'm curious to know, you know, what this, uh, what this is about, what kind of epilogue. Uh, I think I read something about the Rhino being in it. He's one of my favorite villains, so I don't mind picking it up. Something tells me this is not essential, but, uh, what do I know, right? I guess we'll find out. Next up, we have Monsters Unleashed, uh, number four. The theme of this haul, by the way, is variant editions. I think I have mostly, believe it or not, variant editions, which I don't typically have. Um, but these Monsters Unleashed variants, I don't think are in... Um, they're certainly not separated by my, uh, by my local comic shop owner. Uh, so they must, they must not be like, you know, rare variants or anything. They're probably just like cover A, B, C, and D as opposed to a true variant. Um, or he probably would have marked them up a little bit. At any rate, I'm kind of enjoying Monsters Unleashed. I, you know, I complained last time that I didn't feel like it was an event. That hasn't changed. It still feels very slight to me. It feels like this could have been covered as a devil dinosaur story. Um, but uh, I am enjoying it. So I don't, I, you know, I don't want to be too harsh about it. It is a fairly uh, interesting story. It looks like there's a new young hero coming out of this story who has very interesting power. Uh, the power to summon monsters by drawing them. I think that's a really fun idea. I also picked up a, uh, a comic that I don't typically get, and that's the Totally Awesome Hulk. Um, I picked it up because I thought this variant was super cool, and it's a uh, MU Monsters, uh, Monsters Unleashed um, tie-in. I really liked last week's Monsters Unleashed tie-in of Doctor Strange. So... Um, I'm going to give another one a chance here. And I really like this toy cover. I think this is so much fun. Uh, love Gwen Fang Foom. Uh, it's just kind of making fun of uh, putting Gwen as every character recently. But uh, that's pretty pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping I enjoyed that one. Okay, so next up we have another variant. This one being the variant for Star Wars number 29. Uh, 8 of 48. Kevin Wada, this is actually a, a pretty cool cover. Um, you know, it, it, it's a little silly, but I only just realized uh, that, you know, all of these covers are actually going to be variants of the first Star Wars. I guess they call it A New Hope now. Um, uh, you know, when I was a kid, it wasn't called A New Hope. It was just called Star Wars. Uh, yep, I'm old. But... Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, I was complaining, like, with the previous issue, I think it was the Darth Maul issue, that it was, like, you know, a cover that had Jawas in it or something that was not, you know, was not at all kind of related to Darth Maul. But I realize now the 40th anniversary covers are, are only going to cover uh, Star Wars. I'm sure this is obvious to everyone except me. It's just one of those things I didn't pick up on until now. Um, did I mention I'm not very smart? Okay, well, I don't know if we need to go that far, nerd, but, uh, you know, thanks for, uh, thanks for, you know, filling that in for me. Okay, guys, so we're going to keep the ball rolling here with yet. Oh, I mentioned also that uh, usually, typically, for whatever reason, I don't get these covers um, until a week after they come out. I don't know why that was, but now it looks like my shop's got that uh, under, uh, under control and I get the variant the same week the, uh, the, the normal title comes out. So, very exciting. I also got a variant of America number one. Um, really, the only reason I got this variant is because I had ordered the regular, like I, I had just ordered uh, issue one. And I guess my shop didn't quite order enough. They sold out. Um, but my shop owner felt bad because he knows I pre-ordered it. So he gave me one of the variants for cover price. And he didn't even have any of the, the other variants, the ones that were like 1 in 25. I think this might be a 1 in 50 uh, variant. So uh, he wasn't crazy about giving it to me, but he felt bad, and uh, as he should, for not pulling my book. Uh, I'm just kidding. I love the guy. All right. So here's the latest crazy deal I came... Oh, I'm going to show you one more book before we... This isn't Marvel, but... Uh, I'm just going to put this up here so you have something to look at. Steven Universe uh, number one from Kaboom, which is, I think, Boom, but like uh, the kids' uh, division of Boom. Um, this is my son's favorite show right now. I thought he would get a kick out of the comic, so I pre-ordered it, and it just came in two weeks after its release. Uh, so now I have it. I'm going to keep going with it until my son tells me otherwise, but uh, I do really like this cover, and it is a very good cartoon. Okay, so now back on track. So my uh, my LCS guy says to me, he asked me if I want the Venom variants. And I said, no, I don't think so. Uh, I don't like paying. He marks them up to $8. Um, I'm like, ah, that's like double cover. I, I don't think I can, I don't think I'm too into that. Um, and then he says the words that, you know, I always long to hear. He says, how about if I give them to you for a uh, cover plus a dollar? Which for me is very reasonable. I said, yeah, sure, I'll pick up, you know. But then he added, but you have to get all of them. Ooh, he always gets me with that in the end. I should have known it was coming. And you know what? I agreed. And uh, I'm both happy about it and I regret it because I have, I, I've got all, I think uh, maybe four or five came out today. I think four. And uh, at least one of them is a book that I wouldn't normally get. So I, I haven't done the math yet. i got to figure out if this is a good deal for me or if it ends up being a bad deal for me. I'm not sure. But let me show you the ones I got. First, I'm going to show you the one I wasn't too crazy about. Champions. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of books with younger, the younger heroes. It's the kind of thing I would have loved as a teenager. I'm glad is around. I think they're perfect for, for younger kids and tweens and teens. Uh, great gateway books uh, for, you know, getting into the more mature stuff. But uh, like Teen Titans, Champions, even the new Avengers books, eh, they just seem geared a little too much towards younger kids, um, which is fine. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm glad that kids have, you know, some comics to latch onto. Just they're not really for me. So normally I would not have picked this up. Uh, same goes with... Avengers, which is like, um, I guess it's not really a kid's title, but a lot of the Avengers are on the younger side. Like it's the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Um, it's, uh, it's the Jane Foster Thor. I guess she's not super young, but she sure looks young in the Thor book. Um, it's, uh, and it's, you know, a, a couple of other, um, uh, younger characters. And also it's, the book itself is just not one that I love. I don't love the art because it's got no backgrounds. I just don't dig it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I, I want an Avengers book that has like at least some of the Avengers I grew up with. That's just me. You know, I'm a grumpy old man. 
Uh, I love this one. This one I probably would have paid double cover for, for because, man, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Doctor Strange Venomized. So cool. Love this cover. And another book I don't normally get. I probably might have picked. I wouldn't say probably. I might have picked this up for a couple of extra bucks just because it's so cool. Uh, Venomized Deadpool. Wow, look at that. Um, so I'm two for four. And I guess we're going to see, he said there's about 30 of them. So I'm like, oh, what have I gotten myself into? Um, but you know what? I, I think it's fun. I think they're cool covers. And I don't think if I, if I dislike the stories and I dislike having them, I don't think I'm going to have a tough time getting rid of these ones, if you know what I mean. I bet there's a lot of guys out there who, who would like to get their hands on these ones. Okay, so that's it for Marvel. And uh, not too much on the independent side. There was a couple of new image books out today. Um, one by Jeff Lemire. I can't remember who did the other one. Neither, neither of them really kind of spoke to me. Uh, so maybe I'll revisit uh, in trade. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. On to the DC books. First up, Fall and Rise of Captain Adam number three. And you know what? I really loved number two of this comic. I wasn't so sure after number one. I thought, oh, do I keep going on this? I don't know. I'm not sure I can, you know? But uh, then I got number two, and boy, that turned me around. It was a really great read. And, and you know, it wasn't even... He didn't even turn into Captain Adam in the book uh, until, like, you know, the last page or something. It was just like this down-to-earth story about him stuck in the past and building a new life unsure if he was ever going to be able to uh, kind of activate his powers again, being totally okay with that. Um, and it was, what a delight. It was just a great read. So I'm looking forward to three. I hope it keeps that up. Um, also got Green Lanterns number 18. Um, man, I really loved the uh, Phantom Lantern story from a few. I read it all in one chunk this last week. Um, with Valthum, the first lantern, and that Frank guy who has the phantom ring. Oh, I just felt, you know what, I really like Sam Humphreys. He's got like, a, I wouldn't say he's, you know, channeling uh, Jeff Johns necessarily, but he, he sure knows how to tell a story in a way that uh, I can appreciate. I dug it. Um, I read about six issues, like, all in one afternoon. I just couldn't stop. It was like binge reading, and I haven't done that for a long time, guys. Uh, and so now this story, The Last Testament of the First Lantern, brings back those characters. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens next. And how often do I say that anymore? Wow. Congratulations to Sam Humphreys. Really, he's got me good and hooked. Also got the new Batman with the I Am Bane. I believe this is part three of I Am Bane. Beautiful Tim Sale cover. I think Tom King's also doing a really nice job on this title. I'm not caught up to this storyline yet. But I've been uh, reading the one storyline before it, and I'm quite enjoying it. Um, so uh, do look forward to catching up. Uh, hopefully, maybe I'll be able to hold out for another few weeks until the story's almost done, and then do the same thing and read it as one chunk. That was really awesome. And then finally, uh, I got uh, oh, <laughs> do you see a little clip there? It's the book of the week, guys! Book of the week, and of course. Of course that's Superman Reborn Part 1. Of course it is, guys. And I got two covers of it. Not on purpose. I did that thing where I forgot to check the books in my stack before I bought them. And I, and I got both covers. What happened was I called my comic guy after I got home. And he said, oh, I put both there because we were running low because it's a, it's a, it's, they're selling out of these. This is, um, you know... This is basically the DC Rebirth um, uh, arc that is going to start to explore uh, that mysterious Clark Kent. And we're going to learn a little bit more about those the button and, the, you know, the guy who the, the mysterious Mr. Is it Oz or something who's like kidnapping everyone. This is kind of the kickoff of some of that story, those storylines. So this is a book that people are uh, grabbing. So he put both uh, covers into my bag. Uh, so that I could choose which one I wanted. What a nice guy, right? He put them both in the bag so I could choose. I ended up bringing them both home. Uh, he said, feel free to bring one back next week. And I told him not to worry about it. 
I'll keep both. I'm sure I can find something to do with the other one. Um, you know, I got I got lots of uh, I got lots of rewards that are going to be coming up as I get more subs. So happy to do that. Um, I have been reading the um, the action comics story. I'm a little behind on Superman proper. Um, I'm enjoying it, but I'm behind on it. But I am caught up in action, and I really am loving the mystery of this Clark Kent guy. And that's going to kick into full uh, gear with this crossover. So I'm really excited about this. I think it's a four-part uh, storyline that runs through the month of March between the two titles, and I, I can't wait to read it. So uh, congratulations, you know, to both Marvel and DC for um, finding a couple of storylines that I'm, I'm really compelled with and, and really excited to read. It's been a while, actually. Like, you know, there's been a lot of single or two-part stories. I've been like, oh, it's pretty good. But uh, in the last few weeks, I've just been, uh, I've been finding some great, great arcs. And uh, uh, I hope they keep it up, both of them. I think Marvel's got a little more work to do because there's a lot of books that uh, I'm not a big fan of there. And, uh, you know, I'm missing some of my legacy characters there. Um, I'm hoping they bring those back. And I'm not really looking forward to this, uh, this whole um, Red Skull, uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America... Um, story that's I can't even remember what it's called that's how much I'm not that into it um, where he's like it turns out he's been a member of uh, uh, what are they called oh man I'm, I'm getting old I'm gonna you know what check it out I'm gonna write it right here I know I'm gonna you know I'm gonna put it right here I can't remember what the organization is but it's gonna be there by the time I edit this uh, I've talked too much already guys just remember that uh, this is your last chance to get in the 100 uh, 200 sub contest um, you can find my 200 sub contest and an earlier link. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a link to it under this video. Um, today is the deadline guys. It's really simple to enter. And I'll tell you, I've only got about six people who are entered in this thing. So you have a really good shot at the prize. Don't let it slip through your fingers, guys. I'm giving away a signed Alan Moore, uh, hardcover book. Uh, let me see if I have it handy. I'll just show you real quick here. There it is right there. Providence, number one, act one. This is a hardcover um, from uh, Avatar, Alan Moore, uh, Walken Burroughs. And it's signed, guys. It's signed by Alan Moore and Walken Burroughs, Certific Certificate of Authenticity. This was a prize from a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, that I that I went into, I got a couple of these, so I'm giving one away. How many opportunities do you think you're going to have to get a new Alan Moore signature? Think about that. All right, guys, so get into this contest. It's the last day. All right, and I'm putting this up probably, you know, kind of late, like probably late afternoon, early evening, so you won't have a lot of time, but I highly recommend you figure out a way to get that done. All right, guys, it's been my pleasure. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Here's a friend of mine that you all know and love, the Near Mint Nerd. I'm sending you right back over. Thanks, guys. Look, I, I did it, man. I did I did what you asked, okay? I showed off all the Venom variants, okay? So please release my wife and chick. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the haul. Hope you enjoyed all those variants. I know typically I'm not a variant guy, but uh, today, for whatever reason, I was inspired to buy some variants. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Gonna read all my books. Um, I've also got my new previews magazine, so that's gonna be some good reading. I'm thinking of doing a video where I kind of go through the previews and maybe pick my top 10 of the month. Um, I think these are for are gonna be for May shipping books. Uh, what do you guys think of that idea? Is that something you'd want to see? Like, uh, um, you know, my picks for the, the top upcoming books a few months down the road. If you think that's something you want to watch, let me know. Leave a comment. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit like. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'm the Near Mint Nerd. This is I Got Issues. And I'm going to see you again soon. <laughs>